So we are going to be focusing on a topic um, which I don't think enough people speak about, and that <coughs> is love and heartbreak, especially from a male's point of view. So I feel like so many people, especially women, talk about you know being in love and being coupled up and being booed up and all this other stuff, but men especially do not talk about what happens afterwards, what happens when the relationship is over, what happens when, you know, she says, I don't want to do this, or you say, I don't want to do this no more. Um, so... And also the different versions of love, so how men and women love differently, the mm -hmm. perceptions of love and the kind of the requirements, I guess, yeah. from each of, each of the respective genders. Precisely that. So I have my own views, but I do want to share them after. I just want to throw it to the floor first. So, um, I think that's, I think there's too much separation in our explanations. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. For me, there are human beings that can express themselves well, mm. and there are human beings that you can't. Yeah. yeah. And from those human beings, some are men, mm. and from those human beings, some are women. Yeah. That's all it is, as far I, as I'm concerned. But however, socially, yeah. socially, unfortunately, I, I was watching... Oh, that's all. Thanks for the plug. And yeah, there was yeah, a lady same. there saying that if a guy cries in front of her, mm. She feels like he's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? For me, oh, for me, what she's yeah. that that lady's expression yeah. is a reflection of her mindset. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, nothing yeah. to do she's, with men at all. It's, yeah, th there's there's something within her. Sure. She feels like she looks at a man and any cry. That's her problem, mm. and she shouldn't be tarring all men or putting that pressure on because some men can't handle some men can't handle the pressure of expressing himself. The Similarly, some is, women can't as well. The yeah. worst thing is that she's not wrong in a sense because there's a lot of women like her that think that thing can feel that way. Like there's a lot of women that are out there that she's the not moment, wrong. Not, listen, listen. Yeah, but me, the thing is it yeah. comes no, she's from she's not wrong in feeling that way. Her, 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 her way of thinking is flawed, absolutely. Yeah. But the way how she processes yeah. it, it's not wrong because it's not it's not rare. It's not something that's brand new. But Jim, here's like the thing seen, as Jay was saying that's a product of the environment because a lot of times in relationships you seek for like uh, a lot of w women end up with their fathers, a man that yeah, has their yeah. father's traits. A lot yeah. of women end up <coughs> in recreating situations. And you a lot of what men, you used to, didn't you? That's what yeah, I and a lot of men yeah. seek kind of that mothering trait that they may or may not have had and kind of look for it in different ways and different spectrums. Mm. I think her, Elizabeth, her name is Elizabeth, Elizabeth's view on things is respective of her and her upbringing. Do I agree with it? No, mm. but that's her world and kind of her interpretation of how she perceives things to be. Yeah. And unfortunately, in, in kind of, especially in the BAME environment and the yeah. BAME communities, it's frowned upon to be an emotional man. It's frowned upon to speak about your emotions. You're not really given the platform to do so. And I think that this is why sometimes men become a bit disassociated when it comes to relationships. Yeah, I even disagree with that to an extent, that, though. Yeah. My mum said she never saw a dad cry, ever. Mm. Never showed him show emotion. And that was 50s, 60s. So it was like, nowadays, I feel like women that, I want to see for myself. And not just myself, like my cousins, my family, my family friends, female friends, ex-girlfriends, they want you to be more expressive. When I started dating, I wouldn't say I was expressive at all. I would say I felt like I had to put a guard up, do this, do that, until after being with a couple of black girls, because I only really like black girls, to be honest. Okay. It's like, it's like, <laughs> Break that it's like not just, but you know what I mean? That's my no, cousin. No, no, of course, of course, course. But um, it's like I've been taught by women mm. to learn how to be more expressive. So I feel like... That you have 67. that foundation. So, what about the young men and boys and grown men who like, haven't had those foundations? I feel like even more nowadays, I can't speak for everyone in it, but nowadays I feel like most women are more. What's what I'm looking for? Like. Butch. No, more. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 but that's your upbringing. That's your experiences. That's not. That's, what, that's right, a blank. So what what is is I'm going to right, ask you three a question. Mm. So, in terms of kind of your previous romantic experiences, if you've kind of had like been hurt or you had your heart broken, how have you dealt with it? How have you kind of worked on healing? Confirm that, cause. Okay, I'm confirm that, cause. Oh my god. Confirm that, cause. Me personally, I find I find escapism. Escapism, as in you either get away, 
the to me personally, I, I can't yeah. talk for everyone. I don't know what your way is going to be. But for me, it's escape, escapism. Escapism, even if it's seclusion. Mm. Yeah. It's just getting, for me, it's just getting away from everyone and everything and yeah. dealing with the memory of what's happened, bringing that to the present and dealing with it uh, um, internally. Like going through the situations over and over again until you stop crying, basically. Mm. Like, see, when dealing with things that hurt, for me to know I've got, got over it, when I'm in seclusion, mm. I revisit those moments. Yeah. And if it makes me well up and cry again, I have to deal with it in that moment. Yeah. And then I'll revisit every so often until it doesn't hurt me that much anymore. Okay. Sometimes, mm. uh, especially straight <coughs> after heartache, heartbreak, well, it's the same thing, same really. Thing yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Immediately after, the hardest thing I find is just doing like daily routines. Daily mm. routines that like what, that, that are, are, are normal, like in the subconscious, you're just carrying on doing. Like I'm an electrician, yeah. Mm. So when I go to work, I'm screwing things, I'm cutting stuff, I'm doing like twisting cables together. Whatever I've got to do, these tasks, my my day goes from flying by like that yeah. to me constantly checking the time. Yeah. Oh, when's tea time? Oh, when's lunch? Oh, when mm. am I getting out of here? Yeah, it's yeah. as if the part of my mind that was just relaxed and just getting on in my day, mm. although I'm still in that kind of routine of getting on in my day, my day seemed to take so much longer because there's a part of me emotionally yeah. I haven't dealt with to get yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, soon after, you, like I said, I can't talk for everyone, but me personally, so soon after, what happens is you get a revisit mm. without you even revisiting it. So I could be at work and just for a portion of my day, I've completely forgotten about the heartache. Yeah. Yeah. I'm carrying on and then boom, out of nowhere. You get a, a random little memory. flashback. Yeah, and, and I'm stuck it. in that moment. And, the you universe keeps telling and then, you and then, still need to deal like, with it. Your energy goes back to that moment again. <coughs> yeah. And that's how that's that's another gauge for me to kind of like accept within myself. I'm not over it yet. Yeah. And the worst thing you can do, just to add something in there, mm -hmm. the worst thing you can do, yeah, and I've heard people say this. Meet someone to get over someone else. Oh, mm -hmm. get under don't someone you, to get over someone. You don't dare do that. Don't dare do that. Another thing that you sh you should never do is talk about it too much. And the reason why I say that is ruminations. Yeah, you, you can talk talk about it in the way that you're dealing with it. Yeah, mm. yeah But yeah. don't talk about it in a way that takes you back to that place. Yeah, don't unless, be consumed yeah. by yeah. it. Unless you know you're with someone that knows how to receive you, possibly breaking down. I've, got, I've got to cut you here because um, some certain things you're saying is stepping on yeah. with, with what I'm going to say. I mean, and, and again, I'm speaking from experience. So yeah. when my last relationship, well, not even my last, my first relationship, when I, when I ended, it was just more thing, even though I was feeling it and it ended horribly as well, it was a thing where I just felt like I felt down constantly. It wasn't even a thing of, um, oh yeah, if I think about her, I just felt down. I was down no matter what. So again, even if you're trying to do the simplest, simplest things, going to work, going yeah. to study, and just reading stuff. a book, easiest things in the world, Basic it's, stuff, yeah. it's hard, it's terrible. Yeah. And going to my support system, which at the time my boys, their only thing is, bro, oh, don't even worry about that, man. Why, listen, what man up, man. It's all good. Like, yeah, yeah, big man. Listen, let's go out, let's go out tonight. Let's go, yeah, let's go and check a little thing, <coughs> man. Don't worry. That's not dealing with it. Like at the time, yeah, it's positive because it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go but check the thing or whatever. But it's not positive because I haven't dealt with the emotion, and it's actually gonna consume me and eventually become more toxic. <coughs> Can I? So in I've terms of society, do you think that it's kind of it's set up? From the women's angle, it's always about how a woman feels after heartbreak. It's always about kind of the emotions and stuff. No, that they you have know to what it is? It's because the men's part isn't touched on. Yeah. And mm. the thing is, it's hard to say what a man's addition of love is. You can yeah. almost, and that's, this isn't to paint every single woman the same brush, but you can look at a lot of women and you can say the way they want to be loved it's and the way they do it's love. Exactly. Sure. It's almost uniform. With a man, the way I want to be loved compared to the way he wants to be loved could be completely different. Have you, you know guys heard of the five love languages? Yes, yeah. and I'm actually going to speak on uh, mine. So oh, on my own. Um, so I know two, if you can fill in with the So couple. physical touch, you know, yep. touching. Um, receiving, giving gifts, so mm -hmm. items and whatnot. Uh, words of affirmation, so using words to yep. show your love. Um, phys no, um, quality physical, time. Yeah, quality, quality time, time. Yep. my one. 
spending a lot of time with people. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. And there's a final one, acts of service. So sure. doing things for people. Right. Yeah. So with my own, my, mine is physical touch and words mm. of affirmation. Mm. I love being told good things about myself, but that's because of my own upbringing. You have a nice beard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I have a wonderful fucking beard. You know, it's patchy. It's Don't patchy. Worry about it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's patchy. Yeah, it's, patchy. Um, it's patchy like mine as well, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Listen you've got, you got patchy it's beard, guys. It's a patchy beard gag. That's what we're doing, Here's what it is. You know what I mean? Standard. But that's mine. Like, it's um, physical touch and, and words of affirmation. So uh, sorry, what about the other three? The other three were, um, well, no, you can I mean, touch, no, no, you can touch just, on no, elements no, of it. Yeah, 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 it's it's like more like you get graded, yeah, you get graded mm. on a yeah. percentage. So you get, a, it's up, like between the five, it's like 35% for one, 15% yeah. for so the other. So you can still have them all, but it's worn one percentage. is more dominant than the other. <coughs> for right. the individual. Yeah. And that means what? So it's just like what, how you define the way you prefer to be loved. Kind of the whole thing around love comes in as well. If you can't love yourself and you don't know yourself, you shouldn't be with another. And I think that's sometimes indicative of where somebody is at if they feel that they need to rely on mm. such surveys to understand how they love because they don't have an yeah. understanding of themselves. Uh, yeah, rely is a strong word. I don't think you. Oh, I've seen women who rely on this and fucking horoscopes. Oh, Jesus God. Christ! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think. Firstly, just to go back a step. Yes. Yeah. All of that, that, that list, doesn't work if you're someone that doesn't give. And it doesn't work if for someone that doesn't like to receive. Mm. Mm. Ugh, all five are gone. They don't you exist. don't like to receive, Clint? Uh, I still do. But why <laughs> don't they give and receive? <laughs> What's the issue behind that? Like, why Some don't people, they receive? Some people, yeah. Because so, of trauma, because of yeah. experience? Whatever, whatever their reason is, they're going to have to deal with somehow, some way. But if, if, if you're not a person that knows how to receive love because maybe you've had a tough love or maybe You've never had those from, from somebody that else. Yeah, then yeah, that could yeah, be yeah. traumatic for you. Then that, you know? that's yeah, where yeah. honesty comes in. So you see how the way you talked about how you go over your breakup and then you were honest about emotions, it came in, into your head, you processed that and then that's it. But then when Jimmy said, you know, his mates were kind of distracting from processing those emotions, that's the element of dishonesty because yeah. you're, you're, you're shoving that away. So you're not processing through that. Yeah. So the measure of how to get over heartbreak would be coming down to time and honesty. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't oh, say oh, dishonesty. I I'd, I'd say, I'd, uh, one sec, Jim, you're yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'd change the, the dishonesty for like a lack of being able to self-reflect. I wouldn't say it's dishonest. Mm. You can still be honest, but you, you, you just don't have the capability mm. to be able to reflect on your actions, reflect on your past. This, see, for me, you having your, um, your conscience yeah. yeah the ability to reason and i know it's going to sound a little bit crazy reason <laughs> with yourself you have to reason with yourself and be like you know what i, I was even if we're going to so even if you're too proud to admit it to anyone else mm. at some point you need to face your own truths your own realities as to mm. what was your fault within what happened yeah. within your past you're yeah, your yeah. own barometer yeah. for success and yeah. growth yeah. You know what I'm i think, it's, I think it's, it's, it's very important for you to be as real as you can in those, no, I, I, I was, I was talking about maybe like going to isolation, self reflection, just being alone with mm. your thoughts and being brutally honest with yourself and be like, you know what, I shouldn't have said that that day. Yeah. Sure, I shouldn't have acted yeah. that day that way. Even if that person no longer in your life, but for you moving forward, if you've got to be toxic, yeah. Yeah. you've got to be real with yourself mm. about those times that you were on my own. Yeah, so, 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 this is, so this is the thing, you're, you're absolutely right. Because I think for me, everything with my first relationship, the way how it ended and everything else, I carried into my second relationship. Yeah, now, you granted, the, the same woman, mistakes. Exactly. Granted, the woman was, was, was great. The woman ended up being the, the mother of my children. But as time went on, there was a, there was a massive amount of toxicity. Some from a, a lot from me. And when it, when it all ended, I'm thinking, all right, cool, I can go and do what I want now, you know, and I, I was speaking to this other woman, whatever. But I didn't clear up. I, I didn't actually manage to clear up everything on that side. So all I did was just... Or Emotionally, yeah. So yeah. you so the kind of exactly, behavior. Yeah, precisely. So I just became more toxic, if you will. But I didn't, I'm not realizing because I'm just saying, oh, okay, I'm, future. I'm, yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm not realizing because I'm just being more in the den in denial. Like, no, oh. everyone else is doing shit wrong. Ain't me. What, what the fuck? So that is an element of dishonesty. You know what I'm saying? We've all got our traumas. It had to be a conversation with her, hmm. a conversation with myself. You know, I had to take it in prayer and almost, but well, not even almost. I took it in prayer. And I had to look at myself and see what can I do to become better. Not for someone else. What can I do mm -hmm. to be better? Period. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to grow up and be like my own father, who you know he's yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't want to be like 
I don't want to be like my brothers as much as I love them and, and everything else. I mm. need to be my own person so I can just say, you know what, I'm with whoever I'm with and I'm happy as shit. So with and these elements of self-reflection... I've got to chuck that back in there. That honesty, I just think to myself, you're right. It's honesty to yourself. Yeah. You could be honesty yeah. outwards, mm. but the honesty is, 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 it, the honesty is inside. But that's the element of maturity. Self-reflecting honesty, sorry. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, so with kind of what you've learned and what you've reflected on, what would you kind of... How would you encapsulate your version of love? Clint? Encapsulate I, I what, what do you mean? Give it a description. Yeah, if you have like a, a quick sort of what is love, what is what's love, love to, to you? Yeah. What's love to me? Because everybody's perception of love is different. Everybody's idea of receiving and giving love yeah. is different. Regardless of whether they're in a position to truly accept it or not, obviously you've done a lot of growth and like one of the things I really respect about you is your ability to, to be a whole system in terms of how you think. You think about the wider rather than just you. You yeah. think about... Take your dick out of my face. Sure. <laughs> that was on Friday, you discussed this. Hey, that was a very jelly comment. That was oh, a very jelly comment to it. What is it. shut up, Salty <laughs> Bitch. What is your version of love? I I don't know how to I, I, I don't know how to express that. I don't know. I'd have to hear it what your input think, is and it made me go, oh, yeah, I, I don't know how to define wait, that. Like, I, think, I can say uh, hang on. It's without coming one. from a selfish point. Yeah. But I don't understand that, but I don't know how to... Okay, well, well, it's you're, it's you're, just to you, just to you. You're just going, to, you. You're, yeah, you're going yeah. to be selfish because you're talking about yourself. Mm. Yeah. So, regardless if you sound selfish while it's going Yeah, we don't that. want an academic answer. Yeah. This is an Oxford Dictionary yeah. answer. I'm this struggling is... with it. Are you saying what? What, do, what would I want from my partner? What so is, how would you know you're in love with someone? How would I know? Like, if, if you're asking, that's a bit more specific. How would I know if I'm in love with someone? From being in love with someone, that's all I can go on past not forward, so, mm. and without comparing But you would learn from the past in order to know what you need to do differently in the future, yeah. Yeah. Your love is but healthy. I, yeah, but I have, to try and, I have to try and say that I don't want to be comparing the future or whoever's going to be in experience. the present to the person in the past. But the feeling, the feeling for me is, and I, I'm not naming any names. <laughs> I was oh. out once, yeah, <clears throat> and this is when, and this is going to sound a bit, dishonest, I've said to someone I love them to make them feel comfortable when I didn't actually love them, but I knew oh. I was going to love them. You were going That's off the How do you know, though? How do you know you were going to love them? You're going, going off the heavy, I respect it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't say well. that yeah. because I didn't want to hurt that person at that time. Yeah. So when they said to me, I love you, I said I love you back, but oh, I maybe okay. not have felt it as much as they felt it. Yeah, I had to say that, yeah. got the drawers that night, oh. yeah. However, however, I ended up loving that person and being with them for a very long time anyway. So, so it lucked out for you. Like but what if he didn't, it though? It lucked out for you. Would I just screw it? I've only done it once. I've only done it once, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Every other time was mutual. I just yeah. didn't have the bollocks to say it to that person back. Mm. But answer that question. Is there a pressure for a guy to say, I love you back, when the girl says, I love you? I just answered that. Yeah, that but yeah. Like, for you, <laughs> yes. But because one of my colleagues, or friends, um, he said to me, he's like, oh, someone said I love you, and I just, in the moment, said it, but I don't feel it, and I feel so guilty, and That's now it's cowardice. like... That's cowardice. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I just said that. This honesty comes in again, right? I'm not being all, it's not going to be right, I'm going to be again, but I've got to answer your question. Because, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because we're running short on time, so... Going back to where I tried to leave off was, I said that, not to com... What I felt, it's something that I felt, right, so... I was out in the back, mm. um... Just, like, shopping, and I saw something in the window for a woman, and I thought about my bird. And in that moment, I thought to myself, I really love my bird. But it was, I thought I loved her anyway, but that was something different. In, in that moment, me, and I know it's just, it was just a jacket in a window, but in that moment, I Your thought, instinctive thoughts were of that person. Yeah, not that I've got to buy that for her, not that I want to treat her, not, none of that. It was, the feeling inside was, to think of someone else when I, would, when I was out shopping for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't yeah. there for her. But I thought, man, I thought my girl looked fucking sick in that. <laughs> and that, and I felt in, in that moment, and then to, to add on to that, other times I'd be like... But did you get it for her? I was going home from work. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, you I, was, I was going home from work. Yeah. I mean, my bird like, oh, mate, I'm starving. I'm doing it something to eat. It's like whatever I cared for myself, I cared for my uh -huh. bird. Yeah. And in that <coughs> moment, that's when I really felt like, maybe not the peak of love, but that's when I felt like when I was in love, because what everything I wanted for myself, I wanted for my bird. Like, so she was equal in the opportunity sorry. of health and well-being. I want to make yeah, sure, yeah, make yeah, sure yeah, we all get it. Yeah, um, for me, I feel like it's, 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 it's depending on the person. So if I'm with one girl, mm. 
because of the way she speaks or the way she acts or a sense of humour, the love I might require from her will be different from someone else who may have a different sense of humour, who may think of things differently. So for me, my idea of love is like, also I feel like I can fall out of love with people, definitely. Absolutely. Mm. So my idea of love is like, like that's cowardice. That's cowardice. No, you no, it's not. Like, it's like, you, it's like, you, you can, can fall out of love. Fall out no. love that's that's love. a not a one binary thing. Love is transient. Love is transient. But I believe that you can love more people. Do you think you can love more people in a lifetime? That does last forever. If you you think you love more people in a lifetime? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you can fall out of love. transition. So obviously, like, so I feel like love is my idea of love personally. I would say it's different for every person, but similar to what you said, like, if I feel like, because I look like, cool, if I see my little cousins or my little younger nephews or whatever, I'd love for them, I always put their needs ahead of my own. Yeah. If I feel like me doing that for you is the instinctive thing, then I really know I love you, but I also feel like love and being in love are two different things. Of course, And you yeah. can also fall out of love. Love, love and, and being, being in love. love are two different things, absolutely. And you can also fall out of love as well. So I feel like with me and the way I move is like, you might be completely different from my ex. I may love you differently, but I know the love is still mm. love. That's why I don't really like comparing it to past love. So just because this person made me feel a certain way, don't mean I expect you to make me feel that way. Because then when you don't do that for me, I'm going to be disappointed and then we're going to fuck up. But Can you say that pretty much love is like an energy? That yeah, 100%. Will to extend one's own energy 100. for yourself and yeah, the other person 100%. or replica. Yeah, so for me, it's just like, it just is, is, is depending on the person and it? it's just yeah. like, yeah, so I think, yeah, um, yeah, no, I appreciate sure, it. Up, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think I can speak on mine very quickly uh, as we wrap up, but I think for myself, me, the way I, I know I'm, I know I'm in love with someone if I can be my most perfect, unique self with that person, no matter what. I don't need to, um, I don't need to kind of be their edition of what they want me to be. Do you see what I'm saying? I, I, I can be me, I can be the nerdy me, I can be the guy that will listen to video game music one minute and then listen to draw the next minute. I can be the guy that looks at um, documentaries of mafia stuff for one minute and then see that. Like, BBWs, oh, I'm pouring up today. Thank you very much. It's actually <laughs> X videos, but thank you. But Hi, gang. At the same time, straight up, blue boy. <laughs> but at the same time, it's a conversation that I think men need to have a lot, a lot more. Um, I think this is something that definitely, the comments are here. The floor is yours for everyone to actually join, join in the conversation, see what they feel, what they think. You can like, share, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on the common sense underscore TV. We've been us, you've been you. Thank you very much. Take it easy.